What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm Reggie Bryant and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth. I provide simple, realistic ways to achieve your financial goals in today's economy. Today we're going to talk all about investing for beginners and I'm going to break this video up into three separate parts. So if I get to a part that you're familiar with, feel free to skip past it and go on to the next one. Before we get started, this is all going to be down in the description in a free comprehensive investing guide and i also have a link to my investing course if you want more information on how to invest and knowing what to pick and all that good stuff in an easy to understand easily digestible way now that we got all of that out of the way i'm going to tell you who this video is for this video is for you if you want to learn how to make your money work for you and make thousands upon thousands of dollars and then eventually growing your investment account into the millions. And this video will also give you a sneak peek into how to get above average returns. You hear about 4%, 5%, even 10%. But I'm here to tell you, I have accounts that are up 70%, 40%, and there's ways for you to do the same exact thing. And it doesn't take a ton of money to do, and I'm gonna show you exactly why. So we're gonna jump straight into the first part of this video, which is 401ks, and I will explain the exact order of this video here in a second. But 401ks are something that they don't talk about a ton in school, at least when I was in school, they didn't talk about 401ks, not even when I was in college, not even when I was a senior in college. So I really didn't find out about 401ks until I had just got hired onto my first full-time job. It's one of those conventional wisdom things that everyone talks about. Yeah, when you get your first job, make sure you get your 401k, but you would be surprised at how many people don't do it and really don't even know what a 401k is or what it's there for. A lot of you watching this video might already have a 401k and you might know exactly what it's for. But in simple terms, it's a retirement account and it's a tax advantaged retirement account at that. And I wanna say real quick, as of this year, you can contribute up to $23,000 to your 401k. That's if you max it all the way out. That's just an option, you definitely don't have to do that. But what I do recommend for a 401k is one, that you open one as soon as you start your first full-time job. Make sure you ask questions and talk to HR and get informed on it because, for example, when I had my first job, I couldn't start my 401k until I was three months in. I guess they had to make sure I was a good investment. Anyway, check out whatever rules there are and a lot of companies, a lot of really good companies will let you start immediately. And that's what I would recommend you do because you don't wanna say, oh, well, I'll do it later so I can put more money in my paycheck because the 401k takes some money from your paycheck before it's even taxed. And that's how they start investing your money and that's how it's tax advantaged. And then at the end of it, when it's time to withdraw at retirement, that's when you get taxed. Problem is, if you're like a lot of folks out here not really informed well on the topic, you could miss out on years and years worth of growth in your investment account, which I will show you in a bit, can actually grow a lot in a short amount of time. Whereas you think you're holding on to an extra two, three, four hundred dollars a month. In reality, you're missing out big time. And the second recommendation is gonna to be to follow the match program. So I don't think anyone right away is really ever able to contribute their maximum contribution to their 401k. If you can, that's great, but a lot of people are not in that position to do so. So your next best option right now to be able to hold on to as much cash as possible while still getting your biggest return as possible in your 401k is to follow the match program. If you don't know what a match program is, it's when your company agrees to give you a certain amount of money for you putting a certain percentage of your check into the account. So for an example, let's say you get $3,000 per paycheck, so $6,000 a month, and your company says, hey, I'm gonna match you at 8%. That means if you contribute 8% of $3,000, your company's gonna put money in there for you for free. 8% of $3,000 is $240 per paycheck. So $480 per month of your money pre-taxed will go into your 401k. And because you did that, your company is gonna throw some extra money in there for you. Now, the amount of money that your company matches may vary, but a lot of times you'll hear 50 cents on the dollar. So in this example, your company would invest half as much as you did for you for free. So you put 480 in in a month, boom, they're gonna give you an extra 240. And the reason why that's so great is because now your money is gonna grow even more, it's already pre-taxed, so you're getting more money, and then two, you got your employer's money going in there that's gonna make it grow even more. And if your investment was chosen wisely, it's just gonna grow and grow and grow and exponentially. 
So I have two 401ks and I've only had this particular one that I'm using right now with Fidelity. I've only had that since 2019. And I've only given 8% of my paycheck to it, but over the years it's already about to be in the 70 thousands. And that's just one of the 401ks. And just so you know, if you're really unfamiliar with the topic, 401ks can be with different brokerages that are outside of your company that your company is just doing business with. So it could be something like Fidelity, like I just mentioned. That's what my company uses. Or it could be Charles Schwab or Vanguard. One of my 401ks is with Vanguard and the other is with Fidelity. But just for the sake of this video, and just so we know where we're going for topic two and topic three of this video, you need to know this. Yes, the stock market is gonna fluctuate and go up and down. No, that does not mean you need to take money out. You gotta think about it. You're young right now. You ain't retiring probably for another 40 years. So if the stock market crashes, and things look super, super low like they did back in 2020, you don't need to be taking your money out of it just to be like, oh my gosh. It, like if you gotta think about it this way, if everything you're invested in goes to zero and never recovers, like I'm talking everything you've ever invested in goes to zero, the world's pretty much coming to an end and ain't no hope for you anyway. So you don't need to be taking your money out just because everything looks like it might go to zero that's that's not going to happen a lot of my friends and co-workers did that during covid and their 401ks ain't where they should be simply because they took a lump sum or the entire thing out of the account to keep it safe you get a fee for that you got to pay taxes on that that's your taxable income now so that's just a friendly reminder but the meat and potatoes of this video that you really need to pay attention to is this if you're new to 401ks, you might not know if you should choose the more conservative or more aggressive type of investment portfolio. Usually 401ks are very generic in that way. It's gonna be a stock to bond blend. I've always chosen things that are more stock heavy than bonds, like 70% stocks, 30% bonds. But the choice is gonna be up to you. But there's actually ways you can look up what is inside of your 401k. So like, even if you don't know what to pick and you see the ticker name, the ticker is just gonna be the abbreviation of whatever the investment is called. So for example, Apple is APPL, Microsoft is MSFT if we're looking at individual stocks. So your investments are gonna have these ticker symbols and it's gonna be like this in every portion of the video. It's gonna be ticker symbols. You can look them up and, and, and I'll show you exactly how to do that in my course where we break down everything from your 401k to index funds to anything you could ever wanna know about what you're investing. I can show you, I can show you exactly how to see what you're invested in within each of your funds because inside of your 401k exists a big fund and basically the more shares you have that's that represents how much wealth you get your 401k is typically invested in invested in a fund which has a bunch of companies inside of it but it might be like 24 25 dollars per share and so if you're putting $480 in it, you're getting multiple shares per month. And so eventually you have 100, 200, 1,000, 3,000 shares. And before you know it, 10,000 shares. And when they go up 20% or even 5%, you're gonna notice your whole net worth changes because of it in a positive way. That's just something I feel you should know because it's gonna help you understand the rest of this video better. But it's gonna be important to know what is inside of your 401k because if you don't know and the thing is a lot of people who do have 401ks have no idea what's inside of their 401k that's a problem you don't know how secure your investment is just because it says it's moderate or conservative you don't know what those trends are going to do until you know what's inside of that account Right off the top of my head, I can tell you that my 401k has Apple in it, it has Microsoft in it, it has Johnson & Johnson, it has Facebook, it has all kinds of different investments in it. But again, I break the rest of it down in my course and everything else I'm about to tell you in this video is gonna be very helpful for free, but my course is gonna help you with the understanding of the why you're investing into what things without telling you exactly what to invest in, it tells you how to think about what to invest in. So you can make the smart decision for yourself and you can analyze for yourself. So you're not just listening to some random person on the internet, which is what I've done for years. And because I've done that, I've made several mistakes until I went the right way. Anyway, that's the 401k. And the reason I bring that up first is because it's the easiest one to talk about. It's one that pretty much comes with a full-time job. If you don't have a 401k, maybe it's a 403b or some other equivalent, but same concept. So now we have the Roth IRA. And the first thing I will tell you is 
this is probably my favorite part of this video because the Roth IRA is also tax advantaged, but it's tax advantaged in a different way. This time you're not having pre-tax money go into that account. So your money is already taxed. You done got your paycheck. Now you make the decision for yourself to put some of your paycheck into your Roth IRA. For your Roth IRA, you can contribute up to $7,000 as of this year and up to $8,000 if you're 50 or older. But the reason this is my favorite is because unlike your 401k, you have a lot more freedom in terms of what you can invest in. And once you take the money out, when you hit your retirement age, it's not gonna be taxed. So that means while you're young and able and you're putting more income inside of your Roth IRA and you're doing so proactively and you know you have a limit of 7,000, even if you don't hit that 7,000 every year, a lot of people don't, that money's still gonna grow at a different rate than your 401k might because you have more control. And when you do take it out, it's not gonna be taxed, which is great. So I do think everyone should have both. Uh, you're not gonna necessarily be able to invest in both right away. I know I wasn't, but if you can, once you're able to invest in both of them, having both of them is gonna help you out in a major way. But I already made a video all about the Roth IRA and exactly how that formula should look like. So check out the video of how to invest your first $1,000. I will have it linked up here somewhere. It's gonna go more in depth, but the way that I tell everybody to start with investing is, it's cool and it's fun and it's entertaining to look at individual stocks, especially if you're kind of a nerd and you're like, you know what? I like Sony. I grew up playing PlayStation or, you know, I like Apple. I have an iPhone. I have a Microsoft computer. Let's, hey, I like Microsoft. If you like video games, you know all about NVIDIA and AMD and all these different companies, right? I go to Target. I like Target. All these companies I'm talking about, they have shares of stock on the stock market, Amazon, all that. But it's putting all your eggs in one basket. And if you don't know what the heck you're doing, and most people don't, you could find yourself in a big situation. So the, the smarter thing to do with a Roth IRA, particularly something that you know is all about your future, you need to think about this. You need to think about one, how much am I able to put in my Roth IRA every month? But two, you need to think about what's the most secure investments that I can that can give me the highest return that I can put in my Roth IRA. And again, I talk all about that in my other video, but I'll, I'll speak on it now a little bit. ETFs. You have broad-based indexes, which cover a ton of different sectors like technology, healthcare, food and beverage, things like that, right? Like all of them mixed together in a box. Then you also have specialized, which might only look at technology by itself or pharmaceuticals by itself. And both have their pros and cons, both have different types of volatility, but they're both more secure than doing something like investing in a singular stock. And the beauty in this is once you do choose whichever one, and again, I talk about it in my video of how to invest your first $1,000, but basically the idea is that basically you choose which one is best for you. You might choose a couple of them and then boom, there you go. I know I keep talking about my other video a lot, but it, it just shows you how to choose which one is best for you pretty much. It, that's what it does. And I just don't want people to forget about or sleep on that video because that is what you need to know if you were wanting to do such a thing. And you know, it's just my hope that a few people watching this video do take action on that because you will see tremendous results in the future. But anyway, the idea behind that is once you do watch that video and once you do understand what is inside of the broad based indexes or the specialized indexes, now you will understand what direction you're wanting to go in. So that way, when you get to the next topic, which is topic number three, which is individual stocks or an individual brokerage account, which can still have ETFs in it, you're going to start to understand what stocks you can invest in that'll have the least amount of risk to your portfolio. Because one thing about the stock market is it's going to go up and down no matter how you look at it. There's going to be tremendous years where you're on bull runs and you're waking up to $500 already and the day ain't even started good yet. $1,000. Some people are making $100,000 in a day just off of long-term investing. We're not even talking about any risky type of investing or trading or anything like that. We're talking about just buying a stock and letting it build and hold and hold and hold for years. And then I'm, I'm telling you, it doesn't take that long to have those kinds of results. 
It doesn't. There's been days when I've made over a thousand dollars just by holding the same stock. And this year has already started off being a very good year. Like each day it's been 300, 400, 500. It just, it depends on what kind of day it is, but I know those are unrealized gains. And so if I don't sell my stocks now, then technically I didn't make that money. Same thing is true if you see that your stock portfolio randomly goes down 20%, that's unrealized loss. So if you don't sell your stocks right then, you're not gonna lose money on anything. That is how much the asset is worth. So long-term investing is a mind game. You gotta be strong up here. Not, it's not for everybody. That's why everybody that watches this video isn't necessarily going to take action on these things. But this is something that I'm bringing to you just in case you want your future to be as bright as possible. And you're not afraid to take a little bit of risk to get there. Everything in life you do is a risk. Your job is a risk because they can wake up and fire you tomorrow if they want to and then have your replacement ready the next day. If you decide to be an entrepreneur, that's obviously risky. A 401k is not attached to that. A paycheck is not promised there. So yes, investing has its risks, and that's why I, in my course I explain what the risks are and how you can mitigate that risk as much as possible. And the best way to do that is to ensure that you're knowing what the heck you're investing in and that you understand what you're investing in, you understand how it moves, and you're making secure, smart investment decisions, not emotional ones. That is how you do it. I know I'm going off on a tangent. If I'm really gonna go over this with y'all, it's gonna take hours and hours and hours. So if you really wanna know the ins and outs, click that link below, get my investment course. It's not like your regular course where you just click and you watch videos. No, 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 it's an interactive course where it's you and me talking and it's me teaching you the ins and outs when it comes to investing. And then you can ask me questions in real time. That's the kind of course we're talking about. And it's divided into four sessions anyway. I'm not, I promise I'm not just trying to promote my course. I mean, I am definitely doing so in this video, but I'm, I'm not trying to keep bringing it up. I'm just saying, if you do want more, if you're somebody who's hungry for information and you want to start applying this information, that's a good way to start. Anyway, moving on to individual brokerage accounts. So for me, I use something like Weeble, but you don't have to use Weeble. Uh, but if you do decide to use Weeble, I do have links down below for M1 Finance and Weeble, you can get a little extra money just by signing up through my links. And that way you can even get a head start on your investing that way. I use Weeble, some people use Robinhood, some people use Vanguard, some people use TD Ameritrade. All of them are great, it just depends on what you wanna do, which interface you like the most. I mean, that's really what it boils down to. I like the interface of Weeble the most and always have. So that's the one that I went with. So this one's simple, um, for me, I say one to two broad-based ETFs, and that's a good way to start with it. And again, you already know what's in the broad-based ETF because you watched my video on the how to invest your $1,000, and that's specifically into a Roth IRA. Since you know what's in your Roth IRA, you're gonna know what's in your individual account, so you invest into something that's doing well in your Roth IRA, like something like VOO or VTI or something. It doesn't have to be those two specifically. It could be literally a multitude of different types of ETFs that are broad based or even specialized. But you pick those, boom, okay, you have a base. So for me right now, I, I made mine as condensed as possible because I want the greatest return. But for right now, I have one broad based ETF and that is VTI. And that is a good way to start it simply. But then I also, for my individual stocks, I have Apple, Microsoft, Nvidia, and Google. So check this out. I've known all about Microsoft, Apple, Google for years. I mean, I've been on YouTube for years. I've been on Google for years. I've been buying Apple products, Microsoft products for years. And I understand the impact they have on companies and the overall tech industry and things like that. I just recently, a couple years ago, learned about NVIDIA. And once I understood more of the company dynamics, I trusted it enough to invest in it. And oh my goodness, I started, like my average for that, I got in at like 181 or something. And that's the average of all the shares that I have. It is now worth $662 per share. My Nvidia investment alone is up 265%. Sounds a lot better than that 4%, 5% return a year, doesn't it? Now that's not necessarily the norm, but if you look at my Apple or my Microsoft, Microsoft is up 53.9%. 
Apple's up 27.59%. Google's up 43.7%. I'm sorry, 0.07%. I'm just going to take a screenshot because these numbers are moving. It's Friday when I'm recording this video. These numbers are moving. But anyway, um, VTI is up 23.83%. And just like I was alluding to earlier, today's growth has been 2.24%. But in dollars, that's $521.42 at this time right now. And overall, it's up 73.95%. So... I'm just showing you what is possible when it comes to investing. If you're a beginner and you're like, well, you have to have a lot of money to invest. I mean, look, like of my own money, maybe $13,000 went into that account. I've been focusing on other things lately, but it's gained 10,000 and something dollars. So it really doesn't in the grand scheme of things take a lot of money. What it takes to make a lot of money in the stock market is a lot of time, not so much a lot of money. If you can afford $100, $200, $50, put what you can put in and, and then just sit back and be surprised at how much your money has grown. Because I'll tell you what, it's gonna grow way faster than if you put it in a bank account, it's gonna grow way faster than if you put it in even a high yield savings account. Like you have to think about it like this, just because the percentage of 20% doesn't register to you doesn't mean that it's not a lot for your money to grow by in a short amount of time. Like if you were only able to put in $100 per month, I say only because a lot of people always tell me, well, I can only put $100 a month in. That's not enough. That's what they say. And that's what they think. That's not true. If you put in $100 a month in your stock market and that's $1,200 a year, but let's say you get a 20% return that year. I know it's not a typical return, but it, it can be if you know what you're doing. Well, for all intents and purposes, we'll say this is a one-off year that you get 20%. That's $240. That is a start. That's $240 that you didn't have to work for. This is the beginning. Like, it, it's gonna start off smaller than you think. I started off with one share of Visa. It was like $200. In that Weeble, the same Weeble account I just showed you, I started off with one share of Visa and then I got a share of Apple, then I got a share of Microsoft, and I got a share of a lot of different things, like 30 different stocks before I, I wised up and did the strategy that I just told you about. But the point is, it started off small. It's, going, it's supposed to start off small. And then it's gonna grow and grow. You're gonna learn more. You're gonna keep investing. It's gonna grow and grow. You're gonna invest consistently now, have it down to science, it's gonna grow and grow. And then you'll look up and you'll have $50,000 in there, $100,000 in there. That's what's gonna happen with your 401k. So if you can do it with your 401k, why can't you do it in your Roth IRA? Why can't you do it in an individual investing account once you've taught yourself and learned more about investing and learned from other people who know more than you about investing? That's what I did. And that's what's gonna give you the results you want. But simple strategies on paper are not so simple in real life when numbers and emotions are involved and certain external factors that are out of our control start to happen i get it but time's going to go by anyway you might as well have your money going to work for you because there's no better feeling than waking up and looking at your stock account and being like oh man i'm already up 600 dollars today i'm feeling good that's a good feeling because you know if you ever need to withdraw that money i don't Look, here's the thing. I don't think we should touch that money at all because it's gonna grow and grow and grow exponentially. You interrupt how quickly it exponentially grows by taking money out of it. But if you absolutely needed $600, you could take it out. You would get taxed, I'm not gonna lie, you would get taxed, but it's not gonna kill you and you're not affecting the principal. So investing is a very, very, very good tool in any realm of this video, the 401k, the, the 401k alone is something that stuff on that a lot of people don't do till they're in the 30s and 40s. I'm telling you, if you keep doing this from age 18 and beyond, you're golden. I'm telling you that actually you don't have to be any age to do your Roth IRA. Actually, one of my clients who ended up taking my course, he is 20 years old. He is still in college. He's about to graduate, but check this out. He already has a Roth IRA. He already has a few thousand dollars in his Roth IRA, and he is way ahead of any 25, 26, 27 year old, 30 year old who hasn't even started their Roth IRA. Because the younger you do it, 
even if you have interruptions later in life where you can't put money in your Roth IRA because you can't afford to, the money that's in there, guess what? The damage is done. That money's gonna grow anyway. But if you wait till you're older to do it, it's not gonna grow as much. That's what I'm saying. Even if you start contributing more money when you're older trying to catch up, it's still not gonna grow as fast. You'd have to put in exponentially more money to make it even come close to where it would be if you did it 20 years ago. Because when I first started my job, I learned that 40 year olds, 30 year olds and 25 year olds alike didn't even start their 401k yet. And me being me, I educated them and said, well, do you know what a 401k is for? And do you know what it is? And I told them what it was. Next thing I know, they done signed up for their 401k and started putting money in. This is your life. And I know that we're uninformed sometimes about things, but it's time. This is the year. It's time for you to start investing your money and making it work for you. Start with as little as you need to. But in the end, you will be thanking yourself for doing so. Anyway. That is the video. I could talk about this all day and I'm caffeinated right now, so I'm feeling about good. But if you want to learn more from me about investing, check out the free investing guide, but I also have my investing course. Check it out. Watch my other video that I was talking about in this one about the how to invest your first $1,000 and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.